What are the best new sports cars that you can buy for 2024? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Carl Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. For this video, I'm going to share 10 of the best brand new sports cars that you can buy for almost every type of budget, from high to low. So there's going to be a little bit of something for everyone on this list. But before we get into it, remember, if you enjoy and get value of this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications. So let's start this list off with number 10, which is the BMW M2. Now I've driven almost every variant of the M2 from the previous generation competition package, the M2 CS, to the current generation. And every time I get behind the wheel of one, I always have an amazing time. The M2 is the last model in the lineup to follow a classic BMW formula with an inline six cylinder engine in a small two door coupe body with perfect weight balance and rear wheel drive. The turbo inline six produces a ton of power and gives you amazing performance. And you can get it with either an eight speed automatic or a classic six speed manual. In fact, the M2 might be the last BMW to even offer the option of a manual, which makes it pretty special. It's a total blast to drive and gives you a refreshing old school driving experience that is pretty much lost in the rest of the BMW lineup. But not only does it give you amazing performance, but it also has a luxurious interior and it even offers enough space for a pair of adults to sit in the back seat for shorter trips. So as a whole, the M2 is a really well-rounded car and easily one of the best cars that BMW makes. And now moving on to the next car in the number nine spot, we have the Chevrolet Corvette. Now, I know it's a bit of a cliche to call the Corvette a budget supercar, but that's really what it is. It delivers the same amazing performance and even the striking design of a supercar that costs two to three times its price tag. And in the case of the high performance Z06, I'd even call it an even match. With that one, you get a race inspired, high revving, flat plane crank V8, the same engine layout that you would find in a Ferrari. But really, you don't need to go with the Z06 to have incredible performance. Even the regular Corvette has a V8 engine with close to 500 horsepower. And not only do you get amazing performance and handling, but you also have a comfortable, well put together interior. And you can get the Corvette as either a coupe with a removable roof panel or a power attracting convertible. Either way, there's no denying the amazing value that you get with the Corvette. It really is an excellent buy. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more polished and has a bit more style, then let's move on to the next car on the list, which is the Porsche 911. I really don't think you can make a sports car list without including the 911. It really is one of the most iconic cars that you can buy. And with a history that stretches over 50 years, it's evolved to the point where it's really become one of the best sports cars on the market. No question, the best variant of the 911 is the race-inspired GT3. But even the GTS or even the Carrera T would be an excellent alternative and still give you most of the same excitement. The 911 is also a surprisingly comfortable car with a really well put together interior, making it an excellent car to drive for special occasions or even every day if you really want. And because 911s are so desirable, they really don't drop much in price over time. So they really could be justified as an excellent buy. Put that all together and you have a recipe for the perfect classic high-end sports car. That's really one of the best choices on the market. But if you're looking for something that's perhaps a little bit more unique, then let's move on to the next car on the list, which is the Lexus LC500. The LC500 seems to be an overlooked car that's gone a little bit under the radar, which is a shame because it really is an incredible car. Now it is a bit of a stretch to call the LC a sports car. This really is more of a luxury grand touring car, but it really does have all the right ingredients. Under the hood, you have an amazing naturally aspirated V8 engine that sounds incredible and gives you really strong performance. You also have surprisingly good handling thanks to a well-balanced rear wheel drive chassis. But at the same time, the LC is comfortable enough to drive almost every day. It also has one of the most luxurious interiors in the segment, easily looking two to three times more than its price tag. And to top it all off, you can get the LC as either a coupe or a convertible, making it even more appealing. And of course, it's a Lexus, which means that amazing build quality and reliability are part of the package, making this an excellent car that you can own without worry for a very long time. The LC500 is truly an amazing car, so if you have the money, definitely do not sleep on this one. But if you're looking for more of a proper old school sports car and you have the budget, then there's no question. The one that you should go with is the next car on the list, which is the Porsche 718. The 718 gives you all the same benefits that you get with the 911, only in a smaller, lighter, and more affordable package. 
It really doesn't matter whether you go with the Cayman Coupe or the Boxster Convertible, both are amazing cars to drive. Although both come standard with a turbo four-cylinder engine, the ones that you really want are the GTS, the Spider, or the GT4, all of which come with a naturally aspirated six-cylinder engine, which not only gives you better performance, but a much nicer sound. Whichever way you go, you have a choice of either a six-speed manual or a seven-speed paddle shift transmission. You also get incredible handling, arguably even better than that of the 911, thanks to its smaller size, lighter weight, and even better weight balance. The 718 is truly an incredible sports car, and because it's less expensive to buy than the 911, it's arguably a better choice. But even so, the 718 is certainly not a cheap car to buy. So let's move on to some cars that are a lot more attainable, starting with the next one, which is the Nissan Z. Don't rule out the Z if you're looking for a fun sports car, because this one might surprise you. It has all the ingredients to make it an incredibly fun package, including a powerful twin-turbo V6 engine, and a choice of either an automatic or a six-speed manual transmission, going to the rear wheels. It really is a fun car to drive, and what I really like about it is how simple and old-school that it feels. It just has this simple old-school feel, which just makes it even more exciting. And even though it's certainly not cheap, for the price, it definitely offers quite a bit of value when compared to a lot of other similar cars. But even though the Z is arguably a very good buy, one car that I would say is an even better value is the next car on the list, which is the Ford Mustang GT. With the Chevy Camaro and the Dodge Challenger exiting the market, the Ford Mustang is really the last man standing if you want an old school muscle car. Although you can get the Mustang with a turbo four-cylinder engine, the one that you really want is the Mustang GT, which still uses a naturally aspirated 5-liter V8 engine under the hood. Not only does it have incredible performance with close to 500 horsepower, but you can also get it with either an automatic or a 6-speed manual transmission. You can also still get the Mustang as either a coupe or a 4-seater convertible, which is becoming a pretty rare option. And even though the price of the Mustang has certainly gone up over the years, it remains one of the most attainable muscle cars that you can buy for the price. Especially for the amazing performance that you're getting, it really is a good buy. But there is another car at a similar price point that I would say is even more fun to drive for the money. And that is the next car on the list, which is the Toyota Supra. The Supra really is a phenomenal sports car, especially for the price. I spent a week with one right after driving a Porsche 718 Cayman GTS, and even though the price tag was almost half as much, the Supra really didn't feel like much of a downgrade, which is saying a lot. Although the Supra comes standard with a turbo four-cylinder engine, the one that you really want is the turbo inline six, which not only gives you a lot more power and a nicer sound, but also gives you the choice of either an automatic or a six-speed manual transmission. It really is an incredibly fun car to drive, and because it has such good chassis balance with rear-wheel drive and is relatively small and lightweight, it really is not far behind the Porsche 718. The interior of the Supra is also surprisingly nice and definitely makes it feel worth its price tag. So as a whole, if you want a great performing sports car, the Supra really needs to be on your list. But if all these cars so far are outside your budget and you need to have something that's a lot more affordably priced, then the sports car that you want to take a look at is the next one on the list, which is the Toyota GR86. The GR86, or its platform cousin, the Subaru BRZ, are really two of the best sports cars that you can buy for the price. What makes them such great cars is that they follow more or less the exact same formula as a lot of cars that cost way more than their price tag, which means you get a two-door coupe that's relatively lightweight with rear-wheel drive and a choice of either an automatic or a six-speed manual transmission. The engine is a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter flat four that gives you decent performance, but straight line speed is really not what this car is all about. The GR86 is really more about the handling more than anything else. And if you're just looking for a simple old school rear wheel drive sports car at an affordable price, well, it really is one of the best ones that you can buy. But although the BRZ and GR86 are amazing cars, there is one other sports car that you can buy that's even better. And that is the one that I'm driving here, which is the Mazda MX-5. If you're looking for a dedicated sports car that's fun and exciting to drive, but also at an affordable price point, well, the Mazda MX-5 really is the number one choice. There really is nothing else quite like it, and every time I get behind the wheel of one, I'm always reminded of why there's really no point of spending two to three times, or even five times more than its price tag. In many ways, the MX-5 is even more fun to drive than a high-priced supercar. 
Because it's so small and lightweight, and also has a perfectly balanced rear wheel drive chassis, it's incredibly nimble and fun to toss around. It also has one of the best shifting six speed manual transmissions of almost any car that you can buy. And it also has a special high output version of the same naturally aspirated two liter four cylinder engine that's used across the Mazda lineup. I certainly wouldn't call it fast, but it is surprisingly quick given how much power it produces. And of course, adding to the excitement is the fact that you have a simple manual soft top that you can just flip down in a couple of seconds. Now you can get the MX-5 with a power retracting hardtop roof, but the soft top would be the one that I would go with, which fits the character of this car a lot better and gives it that classic roadster look. And even though the MX-5 is certainly not a very practical car and is very small, it does have very good fuel economy and has an amazing reputation when it comes to reliability. So this would be a very good car to drive every day that would give you plenty of peace of mind. So put all that together and it's not hard to see why the MX-5 really does deserve the title as the best sports car that you can buy. So let me know what you thought of this video and if you have any suggestions for any future car videos, just leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also take a look at my other car videos by clicking these links over here. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And if you need additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to visit carhelpcan.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.